Hello everyone. Today we will create an AI assistant helping data analysts to generate reports. Assistant will translate natural language into SQL and deal with multiple databases and views. To solve this task, I have chosen four most popular LLMs. OpenAI's GPT, Anthropic's Claude, MetaLama and AWS Titan. All of them can write SQLs, but each has limitation. So let's compare how they will cope with the task. For the demo, we will use a rock architecture. As the scenario involves multiple databases, I've created views for each of them. Views are divided into logical categories. We also have fields table, which obviously contains fields description within views. For the demo, I chose a university topic because we have a lot of data here. Students, uh, their courses, etc, uh, etc. Et if I were a data analyst, uh, what would I start from? Uh, for example, I want to find out how many students graduated with computer science degree last fall. I think that first I would select one or more categories. Then I will check relevant one or maybe several, then get list of relevant views in selected categories, select the most relevant, uh, get fields and finally generate SQL. LLMs follow pretty common algorithm. For Lama and Titan, I will use prompt chaining approach uh, as shown on the diagram. We feed the input data categories into first prompt, it outputs becomes the input from the, for the next prompt, and so on until we get SQL. In the diagram, actions performed by LLM are shown in blue, while ordinary functions uh, in my code appear in gray. For GPT and Claude, we can use tools. Essentially, we don't need to create a chain of prompts or generate our own data search algorithm. We can simply indicate tools in the system prompt and add set of functions to the model uh, so LLM can call them and use. LLM calls tools uh, it considers necessary with certain arguments, and in the code base, each tool is associated with a data uh, search function uh, in the AI knowledge base. I have already written the prompts and created the data search functions. They are the same for all models. So let's run out our four LLMs concurrently and ask them the same question. And then we'll see what happens. I want to ask each LLM, for example, how many students took computer science course at the fall 2023. I will just copy the same query to each LLM. GPT was first and it's already conducted me an answer. You can see here that gray is data from our knowledge base, blue is uh, uh, tools LLM used, and green its answer with explanations. Now GPT gave me a response, lot is thinking, Llama gave some SQL as well, Titan coped, Cloud seems to be, oh yeah, Cloud answered as well. Well, each of the models performs the task better or worse. I wouldn't focus now on the quality of SQL queries since it can be further improved through Prompt Manager. And as you see, in addition to SQL and explanation, I displayed in the console the number of tokens each model consumed and the time it took to execute the query. I will enter this data into comparison table and we will look at the results at the end of the video. But let's deal with another task. Suppose I want to refine the query and to communicate with LLM. For this, I need LLM to have memory and to know the context of our conversation. 
Um, basically, I should provide the history of the user questions and AI answers to the LLM, uh, so it should understand the whole dialogue. And here we meet Llama and Titan limitation. If you noticed in the LLM comparison table, there is an item called max tokens. It's the number of characters the model can process. For example, I can give Claude a large book to process, but Llama can only handle a chapter from it. If I give all conversation history to Llama and Titan, uh, they will refuse to work maybe for second or third query, just because the amount of data I need to give them is above their limit. Here we can see advantage of Claude and GPT. Uh, they can work with conversation history and make it efficiently. So let's prove this. Let's ask, for example, contacts of those students. I will copy the same to Claude. By the way, you can see the GPT decided to get views in contact reference category. It knows everything about students um, and it just decided to add something to uh, its initial query. And here is it. You can see that it still searches uh, in student with active status and already also gives me address. And what about Claude? Claude the same. It even explains that it joins student course with academic study to get me proper students with computer science program and also gives me their contacts here. We are ready to draw conclusions. So you can see that Llama and Titan can write SQL query, but perform poorly in a chat format when it needs some memory. Claude and GPT are smarter. They can use conversation context. They can independently decide what data they need at each stage of the task execution. But however, they are most costly. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please subscribe leave comments and see you next time.